Welcome back everybody, and thank you for joining me on another mini-adventure. My name is Yuji, and today we're going to continue playing more Wrath. Now, I have been wandering around in the ocean for about four hours. This is actually probably shortchanging it a little bit. It's been about four and a half, five hours, trying to find a new major island. I've come across the archipelago again. This is maybe the third time I've come across it. And I've come across the mountain island uh, probably half a dozen to a dozen times. Quite a few times actually. Seems like an odd proportion that I seem to get that one far more than anything else. Let's see if I can hook this. Can I? Nope. Not even close. And then I've come across the dino island once. I kind of missed that one. That one was pretty cool. But I'm actually not here to show off the island. We're here to keep working on the raft. To put it as simply as possible, I, I've come across quite a bit of resources. And I want to put it all to good use. So today, I want to play around with some things that I have not done with anything with yet. The paint mill is one thing that I haven't played with. I made a couple of rugs, a shelf. I have to do a sign yet. So signs are new. Trophies are new for me. And let's see. There was the binoculars as well. Where are... There they are. Oh, I need to make a paintbrush too. I almost missed that. That would be needed for painting. Three feathers, four planks, and three ropes. I can take these down with me here. Because I've already stashed some of my items to the side in preparation for this. So, let's grab the last couple we need. And there we go. Craft a paintbrush. It's the first one I've made. And all of my supplies for today. Things to test out or play with or experiment with all stuff I want to do. Binoculars? I haven't crafted these yet. That's the first time I made those, so I'm curious to see how those work. Um, my assumption is basic magnification, but, you know, it's a video game, so no guarantees. We will see. Where? Paint mill. There we go. Paint mill. All right, so we got those pieces up. Uh, we need sign. I haven't made signs yet, so... Oh, you get two in that. That's awesome. Two for that recipe. I have a small trophy downstairs. I'll grab that one. Now we got a medium and a large one. I have no idea what these actually hold. I'm pretty sure the large one is for the shark head, but it might be for some other things too. We will find out soon enough. Take these out of storage. Let's see, is there anything else that I want? There are plenty of things that I want. I need, ooh, I need to lift the sail up yet. And I wanna put more streamers around if I can. I do have enough wood. So if I wanted to do three more, Grab rope and let's add three to that. That was not what I intended. Let's mix those. There we go. And I need nails. Nails. Um, I don't have any more spots left, so I want to make sure to take this off. One, two, a three. There we go. And streamers. Oh, I don't want to just drop them on the ground. One, two, three. Bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. It is done. Alright, so. I have some plans. For where I want to put all of this stuff. So much stuff. But I wanted to make that floor up there a little bit larger. 
and see if I can actually connect this side here because eventually I want to put trophies up along the wall here. So if I do that, I need to move these so I can get support pieces down. Hence the reason that they don't have anything planted in them. But I would need my hammer and a bunch of other stuff. Oh, more stuff. I need lots of stuff. All the stuff. That's it. We'll just take care of one thing at a time. Let's check out. I haven't drank milk directly. I know how much the water replenishes. It takes four to fully replenish your... Oh, the milk also gives you a little bit of a food buffer. That's pretty cool. And you can actually reuse the bucket when you drink it. I like that. More milk, please. I didn't know that it replenished your food as well or gave the little buffer. That's phenomenal. I like that a lot. I thought that you pretty much had run out of your purpose since I don't cook with milk. But now I have newfound respect for you, goat. I almost forgot. I'm glad I stopped over here. Coconut chicken. It's a new recipe I found. <laughs> it's, I think, the last one that I had yet to find. Because as far as I know, there's only ten recipes in the game. So these are the the six I have on this side. Salmon salad, catfish deluxe, coconut chicken, head broth, fish stew, and simple fish stew. And then on this side, we've got fruit compote, mushroom omelet, drumsticks with jam, and shark dinner. These two here are by far my favorite ones to cook. Because it uses the three rare resources and two meats. But the shark dinner, you get three servings out of it. That, to me, is absolutely phenomenal. I like it a lot. Alright, so let's start with... Let's swap this one out and this one out. I need to drop down and grab the other one. Where... Where'll it go? It'll go right there. Alright, so we'll line these up next to each other to get a good look at them. Birds, I think I might have to actually scare you guys off because these kind of look funny with the... Well, let me try... Yeah, they do look funny. Does not work so well with the palm leaves. So, we're going to scare you guys off. I'm sorry. We've got the big one. The medium one. And the small... Wait. Oh, you can rotate them. I don't know why that one's rotated to the side. That seems really weird. Alright. So I assume I could put the shark heads and stuff on it. Let's go upstairs and take care of putting down some streamers. I want to put streamers everywhere. Just so that no matter where I'm looking or where I turn, I can always find out what direction the wind is going. The one down in the corner. I know it kind of looks off. I do have plans for it, but there's only so much I can do in one day. Binoculars. Let's check out the binoculars. Sun's coming up. It's nice. Oh, they do zoom in a little bit. Yeah, there used to be a llama on the shore. Where'd it go? They don't have durability either. Yeah, the zoom is very... Oh, there we go. Mouse wheel. That's much better. Oh, now I want to get back to Dino Island so I can look at it. I want to see it close up. That's pretty cool. I like those. I kind of wish I would have made those earlier. Let's put down some signs. See what these say. Oh, you can hang these too. Uh, 
Ah, let's see. Oh, can't write very much on it. There we go. <laughs> I was going to say, in honor of the fallen. Those who gave their lives so that we may continue ours. But nope, nope, not going to let me do much text. Well, that was interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this animation before. And there's two eggs right next to each other. I have found, in general, the 2x6 is a very good option when I am wandering around an island. I usually fill up my inventory and get back with two, maybe, I think the worst it was ever was just one square left for them to feed on. And since the update fixed the fact that they will go and search out for food instead of needing it to be underneath them at the time that they become hungry, it's a bit easier to actually get them to find food and stay alive. So I'm glad that they fixed it and now they'll go searching for food. But you still have to come back to the raft every once in a while to make sure that they stay watered. We've got one more sign to put up. Where should we put the sign? Uh, let's see. Oh, you can actually hang it too. On the ceiling or from the wall. Let's see. You do standing side. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to do. I can't type out all the way for captain's quarters. I guess I'll go back to Yuji's room. There we go. Alright. I, I think I want to use those a lot more often. But I'm not sure if I can do like characters on them, like arrows or anything like that. I think that would be interesting. So let's throw down a couple of pieces up here to make this area look a little nicer. I'd love to do some potted plants up here, but that doesn't seem to be something that is feasible. And I also wanted to see if I could put down any furniture on top. Oh, that stinks. Can't do any furniture on top. Okay. Don't have any water to water anything yet. Oh, I didn't want it to set... A, there's not a mini version for... On top? I think I'm going to actually put them out a little bit further. Rotate it. go so that'll be like my garden type area I like that a lot nice little relaxation area and I have a table I'm just gonna put out here too somewhere um, let's see I think the table here will work. There we go. <laughs> I'm just surprised there isn't like a, a candle size version on the top. It just looks funny. I could hang it on the post. I might have to actually put one over here just to be able to see the wall when I put up and play with the trophy stuff. Ah, uh, carpet. 
Should we carpet the whole area? Put one here. And one here. Not perfectly aligned, but that's that's nice. Paints. I still have no idea what I'm doing with the paints. Let's go figure out how to do that. Where can we put the paint mill thing? Um, don't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, it looks like it needs to be in the water. Well, this is going to be dangerous. I'll make another hole in my raft. Um, let's see. Where is a good place to do it where it's not too obstructing? I guess it really doesn't matter where I put it. Oh, I don't get any of the metals back? Ouch. That hurts. Okay, I like that. The opening is on the inside. I'm going to probably have to put a fence up around that because I'm going to fall right in. Okay. Do I... How do I use it? Hold for more mouse colors. Mouse color. No, hold... Right mouse button, four more colors. I merged it all together and it made no sense. Is that erasing? That's pretty cool. Interesting. Now, how do I get the inks? Do I need... I know it has to do with these. Let's grab... Don't know how many I need. Let's just grab all of them. Okay. Place a blue flower. Okay. I place blue flower. Now what? Do we have to be moving for that to work? I don't know. Oops. Eat some mangoes because my character's getting hungry. Oh, I have a lot more grass plots that I made. I was hoping that I could actually grow grass and have chairs and tables on top of it. I was going to make a nice picnic area. Oh, my hopes and dreams dashed in moments. Alright, it's not that practical, so it was just for aesthetics. Let's get this other recipe going. What do I need for coconut chicken? One mushroom, one coconut, and two chicken eggs. All my stockpile of foods. Actually, I probably could. No, I don't want to do that right now. Don't get distracted. And I need one mushroom. There we go. So. I need one coconut. Drumstick. Drumstick. Cave mushroom. And coconut. Alright, we'll come back and we'll try that one out a little bit. That ought to be interesting. Alright, so with those out of the way, I can actually start building some foundation pillars that will get me up higher. So, let's grab tons of wood. Because I'm going to need a lot. I'll leave one stack just in case. And we're going to need a bunch of nails. And I should probably grab my hammer back out. I haven't used this in a little while. There we 
we go. And support pillar. There's one. There's one. There's one. And gotta move this one, I'm sorry. Oh no. Water bottle. Advanced purifier. Put that back in a safe spot. A safe place. A spot that does not get messed up. Alright. So that should give me support up for the next floor. But I'm not sure if I even want to expand that out. I want to keep this area. And I can put trees in between them. So I like my first floor as is. Don't think I want to elevate it any higher than that though. That should be perfect. Now, I can wedge these in between and should not impact my growing space. I'm not sure I like that block. Yeah, I guess it doesn't block entirely. Yeah, yeah, I'll water. I'll water. Hey, no. That uh, pampered goat. It's carried around. I'm not your chauffeur. Not today. And I have my other bottle downstairs. Water. Alright. Let's see. There we go. Chicken. There you go. Got yours. Is the food done yet? Wow. It's taking forever. It's taking its sweet time. No. I wanted to move it to that slot. All right. I also ended up moving a bunch of my stuff over to the side. Just because it was easy to grab things out of here. Quickly add it all up. And then throw it back in. I have got a massive supply of copper. And I'm not sure what to do with it yet. I heard it. Two, I think, is all I need for this one. Coconut chicken. Huh. I would not have thought that it was going to actually be the piece of chicken soaking in a bowl of coconut milk, basically. Interesting. Not sure why I didn't just use half the coconut shell then instead of a bowl. Seems a little bit wasteful, if you ask me. But you know... Wait, can I put the carpet inside these? That seems a little bit weird. Huh. Alright, so my floor is ready. This is going to be interesting. Uh, I need one more support pillar there. So that one's supported there. And that's the reason why it, this one is not properly supported. So if I put one there, that should be then. But I'm out of wood. 
Nope, that was one too far. I need to do it where the cat is, don't I? No. My welcoming cats. I'm gonna have to move them out. Okay, so that one's there. Pretty sure. Hopefully this doesn't wreck everything. Nope, we're good. All right, let's let's get some cats back up here. Shall I have them face the outside here? If I catch more, I'm gonna just have them lined up all over the place. Let's put them right here instead. Back one little square. That's not bad. I still have my friendly welcoming kitties. Alright. So. Got that floor set up. Let's actually put in the last square. There we go. So, I need support pillars over this whole section too. And I'm going to need more nails. There we go. The llama got in my way for a moment. Freaked me out. I need to move you back. Come on. That is really finicky. There we go. Perfect. I can still see everything, but I now have my floors all set up. need a roof for you, bud. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit slow on this right now. I'm working on it. Ran out of wood, though. That's really annoying. I had an entire chest full, and I burned through it so quickly. Let's get all of this replanted. And watering it, I guess. I was hoping a storm wouldn't come in, but a storm does not want to join me. There we go. It sounds like there is a storm coming in, but the waves are not picking up. All right, is my paint ready yet? How do I pick up said paint? Huh. I'm confused. How do I pick up these little pieces of paint? I don't need a bucket or a container for them, do I? I hope not. Yeah, I like having this space to drop in. So in case I need to make a quick run out. I'm trying to keep one space on the outside so I can always drop down. And land on something. This is the only side that's an exception. It's a bit of a pain in the butt. Hopefully those will grow quick though. I need all the wood I can get. That 
being the case. Wait, does Storm come through? Because these are all watered now, and I know I didn't water them. I am so confused. I was hoping that I would get a mango seed there. I got one mango seed. Perfect. Two. Two mango seeds. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, there's definitely a storm present. These are auto watering themselves. Storm is either here or it's coming and it's just taking its sweet time. There's my other axe. Of course, I have to do construction when a storm is going on. Always make it harder on myself. Moving boats are so easy to hack at. I'm not 100% sure why I'm bothering to even expand the raft more. Because I have pretty much already maxed out all the space that I need. I'm trying to get over to your... I'll, I'll get a square for you for cover. I'm trying to get you more cover, buddy, but I ran out of wood again. So quickly. At day 160. I pretty much went through everything that I can do, and I was just waiting on trees to regrow. Not exactly the most fun thing to do. So in the meantime, I was hoping I could figure out this paint thing too. I seriously have no idea how I pick up the paint. Do I need to put in more blue? Thing. There we go. I'm wondering if I just didn't put in enough. No, there's no hand crake or anything to activate. Do I add water? Huh. Must be doing something wrong because it's not working. I don't understand. I am flabbergasted. Confused. I feel bamboozled. Are you hiding on this side away from the rain? I don't blame you, bud. Lester does not want to get wet. It takes forever for his fur to dry. Okay. So, let's see. What could we take care of then while those are waiting? We tried the new food. We've built up our support pillars to make more space on the top there. Can't do anything without wood yet. I've done my little patio space for nice meals and sitting down. I could even fish from here. Unfortunately, I did find out that you cannot sit and fish at the same time. Kind of weird. But the game does not allow you to sit at any place and fish. Let's try our trophy stuff. Let's go grab some some of our uh, recent kills. Did manage to get 10 Screechers and the 10 Warthog achievement. Grab one of each. And... Can I... All of them. Can 
Okay, I can place the shark head on the top one. And a screecher on the top one. Wart hag. Oh, wart hag. Wart hog on the largest one as well. Boom. Well, that is interesting. Oh, it takes it off entirely. I want to sit here and put the warthog on there. Change text. Ooh, do we name it? Well, I can tell you this. I have no idea what to name it. So if anyone has any suggestions, please leave it in the comment section below. As for the names of all the other ones, I'll probably only put up one of each. But I do think it would be absolutely insane if I tried to fit all of these up there. There is no way I'm going to manage to fit what is it? I've got 20, 40, 60, 70 with one up on the top. 75 shark heads. No, I don't have one up on top. I've 74 sharks killed so far. So these are all of them. I haven't missed any of them. I don't think. That's a lot. That was absolutely insane. I need to clear out my inventory because I want to bring up some fish. So we have one lantern over there. Let's do one lantern here. And... One lantern right here. Trying to make this whole place a little bit more homey if I can. It's not like it's terribly, terribly difficult for me to live out my life at sea now. Does this take just time or what? Oh, it's bugging me. It's bugging me a lot because I don't know what's going on with it or why it's not working. But let me quickly clean up my inventory. It's kind of a mess and it's really bugging me now. I keep forgetting to grab the fish. Grab one of each kind. All right, let's mess up my hot bar again. Why not? All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six different fishies to try. Comfort I can place, herring I can place. You can use raw salmon. Mackerel is considered a medium size. Tilapia is a small. Interesting. Not sure I'm a huge fan of putting fish on my wall, because when fish are out to dry, they stink. Hello, other llama. Huh. Interesting, though. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that next time. Once I actually can get some space to lay this all out, I'll make a little bit, a little section for all the different kinds of fish so we can collect them and have those ready to go. But everything else should work fairly well. Got all my flowers growing in here. Can't even see some of them though because they're growing into the top. Uh, maybe I should replant my planters. Put them a little bit further away. I don't need to be so compact with my space, so spatial requirements. Kind of overkilling it there. 
All right. Well, we got to play around with a bunch of new stuff. Still don't know what's going on with the paint. So if anybody has an idea about that, please let me know. Binoculars were really cool. I would highly recommend those. Those are actually very interesting. They don't particularly serve any other purpose than magnification. But if you're trying to get like an idea of where this creature is or something, you might be able to. I already took the one out on this island though. But still pretty cool to be able to zoom in. Where'd the other llama go? Every time I try to pull out the binoculars to look at him, he's gone. I'll take a look at my elusive llama. I see him over there. He's got such a wide range to roam. He might get out of my sight anytime. Just gotta be careful. The elusive and wily Lester. Anyways, <laughs> I, I think I need to go get some sleep. Thank you all for joining me. If you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comment section below. To everybody who has subbed, liked, commented, or shared my content in the past, I thank you greatly. Every little bit helps. And, as usual, I hope to see you all again in the next episode. Bye!